Welcome to the Flight Academy's three-part series about the possible outcomes of an engine failure shortly after takeoff. We're going to examine a pilot's decisions, and in this particular um, scenario, we're going to have Mike pull the parachute at about 700 feet with his engine failure. We have looked at uh, what would happen if he attempted to return to the airport. We've looked at what would happen if he attempted to land straight ahead, uh, especially in an urban environment like this one. Not many good options for landing. There you're going to see the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, or CAPS, uh, that Mike will be utilizing. And below, you see the uh, Primary Flight Display, or PFD. So let's have a look at what happens. Cirrus, November 123, you're cleared takeoff. Runway 13 right. Clear for takeoff, runway 13 right. Cirrus, November 123. Okay, power's coming in smoothly. Governor is good. Gauges are good. Airspeed's alive. Airspeed cross checks. Fuel flow air pressure's good. Looking for 72 knots. And rotate. Climb out at 88. Instruments still look good. Passing 250 feet, looking for 500. This flaps up and caps is viable. Oh, this doesn't sound good at all. Okay, this is good. Swap fuel tanks, boost pump on. Oh, I have a complete engine failure. I can't turn back. I'm going to deploy the candle. Mixture lean. Shut off the electrics. Mags off. And brace position.